Well, learning how to play music is something a lot of children cannot afford to do, but one school in Knoxville is giving some children free lessons. And meteorologist Cassie Nall is live this afternoon at the Joy of Music School to find out more about how the school can use some help to keep those free lessons going, Cassie. That's right. I'm out here with the director of operations, Ed. I can't remember your last name, even though you just said it to me. Sublet. Ed Sublet. And he is uh, going to show us something that the kids can do here in case they don't necessarily want to learn to play an instrument, but they still want to be involved in music. Music production, sure. super important. Tell me a little bit about this. So I run a class called Multimedia Production and Engineering for Teenagers, something I started 10 years ago here at the school. Um, the idea being that the kids would take what they've learned in their lessons and tap into their own creativity. So I teach them on a program called Logic. Um, and. Uh, they get about a 15, 20 minute lecture every time they show up and then they get about 45 minutes or so to, to play on their own through underneath headphones and, and create some really cool stuff. So, Which is super awesome. And and you're one of the teachers here who is able to teach this class because you have an interest in the skill set in it as well. And so you need more volunteer teachers yes. with a variety of skills to come work here so these kids have this opportunity. Yes, as we get towards the end of the semester, we uh, start to think towards the fall. And fall for us is a whole new batch of students, a whole new batch of teachers, and hopefully a lot of them because we're gonna need them. Uh, we need a lot of piano teachers, we need a lot of guitar teachers, a lot of percussion teachers, and a lot of string teachers, and then everybody else as well and anybody who's interested should uh, go to our website joyofmusicschool.org and uh, check out how to do that and uh, send me an inquiry and uh, I will be happy to show you around the school and tell you what we do. And you also have a, a benefit gala coming up yes. on Thursday which is another way that folks who may not be able to teach but may be able to donate. Tell yeah. me a little bit about that Absolutely. event. We have Smooth Sailor coming out to entertainers, and uh, those are great guys, a fantastic band here in Knoxville. Um, and we're going to have some great food from the Real Good Kitchen. Uh, I think it starts at 6.30 on Thursday, and uh, we're really looking forward to it. It's a, uh, it's always, Dining for Joy has always been a really great event. We've always had some great performers, and this year is going to be outstanding. I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm really looking forward to you showing me what you do yeah. on this here. So give me a little so demonstration about music production. One of the songs, one of the first class songs actually one of the first people who ever took the class was a, woman, a young lady named Lauren and this is her song <laughs> this is what the kids do <laughs> and she and she called this the dropout <laughs> but she's still in school she is probably well through college. She was so incredibly intelligent. I, I'm sure she's out conquering the world at this point, so. That's really cool because, I mean, that's another one of the skills that, that kids learn by getting involved in music is just confidence yeah. and the ability to grow yeah, as well. She's never done this before. This is the first time she ever recorded a song. That's super impressive. This is just one of the many things that kids can do here at the Joy of Music School. Again, they need the donations and they need the volunteer hours. Joyofmusic.org. Back to you.